It is an area of our town that faces many challenges. Well, today, hundreds of volunteers descended on the East End to help out. Our Patty Shea takes a look at the incredible effort. If you're not familiar with the East End of our town, let me give you a quick thumbnail sketch. The average income is $40,000. It's 77% Hispanic with an unemployment rate of 6.5%. There is a tremendous need in this community, and that's one of the reasons why General Electric sent in literally an army of volunteers to hand out food, hold medical screenings, and beautify the neighborhood. And when we talk about need, take a look at this. This line started at 6.30 in the morning for a single box of food and a bag of vegetables and fruit that wasn't handed out until 1 in the afternoon. Thank God. <laughs> Because we all need the help. Everybody needs a little bit of help every now and then. And right now, especially with the food stamps office, everything's slowing down, of course, because it's hard to tend to everybody all at once. But in the waiting period, that's what makes it hard. But good things come to those who wait. It's really challenging because, uh, I mean, like me, me personally, I'm unemployed, you know, so. I mean, it's really hard sometimes to provide for your families. So how many volunteers? 650, leaving their climate-controlled offices and trading business suits for work clothes. Now, a lot of them were in Houston for a conference, and all of them were eager to help. In your everyday job, what do you do? Uh, I work for in marketing for our aviation business in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a quality black belt. I support finance. Well, I'm a service manager for General Electric. I am part of uh, CDF, which uh, does inventory financing. I'm the general counsel for one of the um, commercial finance businesses. I'm the CFO of G Healthcare Latin America. This would not happen. It would take the amount of a team, the amount of man hours in order to, to accomplish this is uh, would take about a year to get this going. The families say this kind of help is invaluable in a neighborhood known as the birthplace of Harris County. In the newsroom, I'm Patty Shea, Fox 26 News.